What is up guys and gals, this is Brandon back and if you see I pulled the GTX 1080 out of uh, my main rig and I have the new Sapphire RX 560 that I was talking about on last night's video and I'm going to be slapping it, slapping it right there and we're going to try to get a BIOS mod on this thing so just uh, bear with us. Alright ladies and gentlemen, it has been BIOS modded and I just shut it down. I just verified it was working on NiceHash. Didn't want to re reveal the numbers yet. Um, by the way, if you do want to learn how to BIOS mod your RX 560, uh, link down below in the description. Friend of mine, Spartan Mining, has done that a couple times. He's helped me a lot. So go down below and click it. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, I just got everything up and running upstairs, and it's running good on Simple Miner. I was tweaking the overclocks, underclocks, undervolts, that kind of thing, uh, and I'm pretty disappointed. Um, if you read the title to this video, you'll I'm going to explain that now. Um, there are two different versions of the RX 560. Well, actually, well, three different versions of the RX 560. There's a 560 4 gig and 2 gig that has 16 compute units and 1024 stream processors and there is a third model an RX 564 gig that only comes with 896 stream processors which it says it right here and that comes out to 14 compute units I did not know that so I bought this card thinking I was gonna get one uh, like a good RX 560 not to say that this is a bad RX 560 but this isn't really a RX 560 this is like um, like a RX 555 or a 560 Lite. I don't really know what you want to call it, but um, it will not put out the performance of a true RX 560 with, see this one's got 896 right here, stream processors. And if you look at this RX 564 gig, it's got 1024 stream processors. It just can't compete. Uh, and over here on Simple Miner, um, if you look at GPU 1, that's getting 14.8 mega hash. That's an XFX RX 560, and it's got 16 compute units and 1,024 stream processors. So I was thinking, you know what? I ought to be able to get my um, my new Sapphire card at least in the 13s. And all a BIOS mod netted me was 0.15. I was getting 12.2, 12.3. After BIOS mod and overclock and underclocking, I'm only getting like 12.4, every now and then 12.5. So, um, really, really disappointed with this card, especially for the money I paid. You know, I could have spent like, what, $10 more and got this uh, Asus ROG Strix, which I'm, I think I might end up ordering one of these anyway. They're still in stock. Link for these will be down below in the description. They're on Newegg. Um, but... Actually, you know what? Stay away from these cards, guys. If you're going to mine on it, I don't think this is a good card to go with. Because it's, um, this is not exactly what I would call, like, the best business practice on AMD's front. They really needed to name these a different thing, like a RX 560L, like, light. Um, because this just down below, a lot of people don't look at this. Um, so uh, even when I posted that I bought this, nobody really said anything about it being like a, a weaker model. Um, people were interested in to see what it, it would actually put out. Um, I did go and I read some articles where uh, some people broke it down and said the RX 460s actually had 896 stream processors. And a lot of people think AMD is rebranding a bunch of their old 460s with 560 branding and try pushing those out to market. Because uh, from what I understand, there's no RX 464 gigabyte models that, um, or RX 562 gigabyte models that have the 896 stream processors. And I don't think they made 2 gig models of that. Let's see here RX 462 gig. Well, okay. I guess they did. So 
I don't know. I don't know if AMD is or not. You know, I, I still like them as a company. It's not like I'm going to quit using them by any means, but um, I guess it's just kind of buyer beware. You got to really watch what you're buying because um, I just willy nilly went and grabbed it. Um, I was talking to Spartan Mining. He was helping me um, BIOS mod this. And another thing he noticed, actually, I'll bring up the, uh, the screenshot of it, is normally on the BIOS editor. Let me bring this up here. Uh, okay. Normally on the BIOS editor, let me, let me zoom in if it'll let me. When you open up the Polaris BIOS editor, you look at the timing straps, and the timing straps will go all the way down normally to 2000, but it looks like this one stops at 1500. So we were messing around a little bit, and he's like, Do you want to try to risk it and throw a, like an unlocked BIOS on there that somewhat like a, a custom BIOS? So I was like, Yeah, let's do it. We went ahead and went through the time, threw a custom BIOS on there that went all the way up to 2000 megahertz, and the card would not make it past post. Um, I even threw it on Simple Miner, and Simple Miner was reading it out. And it, the power on self test for GPU, you know, three, I had it in the third spot, it would fail every time. So we brought it back, and luckily it was still showed up in the system, like I could throw another BIOS on it. Um, Spartan helped me put the old stock BIOS back on it, and then we just did the uh, one click um, uh, BIOS edit on it. So um, that's all we were able to get out of it 12.3 mega hash, and that's, I'll show you my overclocks here. Um, really kind of disappointed really disappointed um, 1100 on the core and 1900 on the memory and I have a 900 uh, under volt so um, we're pushing it pretty much as much as it'll go anymore and it becomes unstable and it'll crash like every 30 minutes so I, I'm, I like stability more than I do like I, I would sacrifice a tiny bit of performance for a lot of stability but um yeah so I just figured I'd at least put I wasn't even gonna make this video because I was so disappointed with how the the cards performance turned out but I figured you know what it's something that a lot of people need to know about and um, yeah so if anybody else has run into this issue and, and maybe y'all don't even know about it or maybe y'all do I'm pretty late to the party apparently this happened or they, they started pushing these cards out back in um, uh, December of 2017 so they've already been pushing these things out for like four months now um, and maybe just it's common knowledge for a lot of the AMD miners, but I didn't know anything about it and I didn't think to even, you know, ask. And, um, like my, my buddy over at Spartan Mining was saying, he's like, you know, I've just, I guess I've, it's been luck of the draw because he's got a bunch of 560s, 570, 580s, and all his 560s have been the, uh, the 16 compute model or compute units. So, um, just, just watch out. I was going through Newegg. Let me hear, let me click back on here. RX. 560 and I was trying to find another one that had the um, the low processor I guess you would say in it or whatever low GPU um, here's a 560 this one's got 896 stream processors it's FX X, FX 2 gig but it see it says 560 D I don't know what that D means. Does the D mean that it's got the weaker um, processor in it? Maybe? I don't know. I don't know why they're selling wheels on Newegg. Um, here's the MSI 560. Let's see what it looks like. See, 1024, and that's 150 bucks. This is a, this is only a 2 gig model. So that's a, that's a normal 560. Uh, we already know the Sapphire is a, a weak one. Let's see this MSI 560 4 gig. Okay, that's a normal one. 1,024 stream processors. Uh, let's see this little mini one right here. 1,024 stream processors. It looks like MSI is holding it up. They're not. They're not pushing out those weak, weak cards. Uh, we know the Strix is a good one. What about the Power Color? Are they are they pushing some good stuff? 896. See, you got to You got to watch that, guys. This is a weak card. 896 stream processors. It looks cool. It's got Dragon on there. It's a little overpriced, but um, yeah, this this puppy right here is not gonna pull over like 13 mega hash. I was looking online and some people said on the 14 compute unit you can get them to 13 mega hash um, if you really really do some custom straps on the um, the BIOS editor. But nobody's seen 14s. Um, that's pretty much all for the 16, the full like you know the full RX 560s. All right, this I believe this is the 
the same XFX card I have upstairs. Yep, it is. It's a 4 gig XFX, and it's got a full 1024 stream processor. So just um, buyer beware, guys. Look into these before you go willy-nilly buy, buying them. But um, yep, I w I'm working on the daily mining news video. It should be coming out here in about an, an hour or two. My cat's freaking out down there. But uh, thank you for watching. Um, I'll see you all tomorrow. Adios.